What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sound Attack once again, and welcome to the 10th finals episode of Mining Rig Wars. Essentially, the way this works is the previous three episodes of Mining Rig Wars were voted on by you up in the corner. If you haven't voted before, you vote up with the I in the corner there. And the top three from the previous three episodes will come into this episode, and then you guys get to vote on your favorite once again for the crown so whoever wins this is the best for the past month essentially so without further ado let's get into it Welcome back. So the winner of the last episode was Rig A JY Mining by Jose. He's rocking the Biostar TB250 BTC Pro motherboard, the Intel 7th gen processor. It's a 7400, so that's an i5. A crucial 8 gigabyte stick of DDR4, 2133 megahertz RAM. A 250 gigabyte Samsung SSD. The Corsair HXi series HX. 750i so a 750 watt power supply uh, and then an evga supernova 1200 watt 80 plus platinum power supply he has a ux cell 67 desktop computer power switch five power color red devil rx 588 gigabytes one red dragon rx 588 gigabyte and five xfx rx 588 gigabytes if you'd like to vote for jose Click up here in the corner. Next is Rig B. He won the 30th episode of Mining Rig Wars, and it's called My AGPU Super Duper Rig by Dan. He's rocking two Sapphire RX 574GB Nitro Plus editions, six Asus RX 574GB ROG Strix Gaming editions, the Asus Prime Z270P motherboard, an Intel Celeron G3930, four gigabytes of memory, uh, just generic, he didn't clarify. The Corsair RM850 watt power supply, a homemade wooden frame, which is actually a really nice wooden frame, one of my favorite parts, especially the cable management here. The dual power supply adapter he got off eBay, and the 008 risers. His total hash rate is 230 mega hash a second, and if you'd like to vote for Dan, make sure you click up in the corner. Finally, the winner of episode 29 was Rig C, the Zotac Machine by Adam. He's rocking the Asus ROG Strix Z270E motherboard, an Intel G3930 processor, 8 gigabytes of crucial memory clocked at 2400 MHz, a Kingston 120 gigabyte solid state drive, two power supplies using the Add2 PSU adapter, one is the EVGA Supernova 1000P2 80 Plus Platinum, and one is the same EVGA Supernova series, but a 750 watt, once again, 80 Plus Platinum. He has six powered Victony risers, three Delta 120 millimeter fans, and the GPUs are six Zotac GeForce GTX 1080 Amped Editions. His total hash rate is 3200 solutions a second so that would be on zcash if you'd like to vote for adam be sure to click up here in the corner going back through these like we stated before you only need four gigabytes of memory so on the zotac machine from adam dropping down and saving some cash on that ddr4 could be worth it of course other than that all of these rigs are looking really good this is definitely pieced together very well I like the high RPM Delta fans. They're 151 CFM on each fan. They are essentially server fans. Super awesome there, keeping those 1080s nice and cool. And he's got them placed in the center there, so the outer cards, or are which usually stay cooler, uh, don't need as much airflow. Pushing the airflow through that is, is definitely something you want to do. Moving on to rig B, which was by Dan, and that's the My 8 GPU Super Duper rig. The cable management here is the most notable portion. He has everything lined out very well. He's using some U brackets to go ahead and keep those power cables in place. I definitely, one of the cleanest cabling jobs that we've had submitted on the channel so far props there and then finally rig a my only complaint here would be the eight gigabytes of memory you could knock that down of course and then i'm not really sure what the 
hash rate is because he didn't tell us and we're not even sure what he's mining. Of course, it's safe to assume with the RX 580s he's probably mining Ethereum, especially right now. And I think that this design is super interesting. I've seen some people do this before, previous to uh, this submission to Mining Rig Wars, but standing them up vertically and then placing them kind of around in a cylinder like that helps keep you know the heat off and so on and so forth basically i've heard at least that people have decreased their temperatures quite well he didn't really talk about temperatures in his submission but jose if you can keep us informed down below did you notice a significant drop did you currently have these or did you previously have these in a different configuration a more standard one and then move to this configuration and what changes did you notice so that's going to wrap up the submissions for the 10th finals episode of Mining Rig Wars. So that means we're up to about 41 total episodes. Uh, thank you guys for all of the support. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And don't forget to vote for your favorite rig up in the corner. If you guys would like to come talk about mining, video games, PC modding, everything that pretty much uh, I'm into, come on over to the Discord channel. Link will be in the description below as well. And I will see you next Tuesday.